Hey guys, this is our friend Ajuli Makeup. Today is Bangla New Year, Shubhanabha Borsho, which means Happy New Year in Bengali. As you may know, I am actually from Bangladesh. I was actually born there and I came to New York City when I was 8 years old. And ever since then, I've been living here. I was brought up here. But I still hold on to my culture as much as I can. My parents are very cultured, they're very cultural and ethnic and they always taught me to never forget it. I read, write, speak Bengali very fluently and I love dressing up in uh, traditional Bengali clothing. And since today is Bangla New Year, I have decided to go all out. I've decided to go red and white and all bold. Uh, red and white are very prominent colors during this time in Bangladesh. Women of all ages, girls of all ages, they all come out dress dress up in um, sharis and salwar kameezes prominently in red and white and different other colors too. Wear uh, flowers in their hair, obviously real flowers, but I just use clip-ons and wear deep and you know bold lips, bold makeup, everything. So I have decided to create a look similar to that and um, make it very ethnic. Um, in Bangladesh around this time, it's very, very fun. There are so many festivals, many fairs. People go out, hang out with friends and families, eat different types of foods, etc. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have that in New York, but we try to do it as much as we can because there are so many Bangladeshis in New York Everyone tries to recreate what they left behind in Bangladesh as much as they can, which is really, really good. I appreciate that. Um, we try to hold many different fairs, many different festivals. We hold potlucks in our own houses where we invite friends and families and we create different types of Bengali food, fish, bharta, etc. Um, so, in, because this is a very festive time, I've decided to do an ethnic uh, look for my channel. I didn't really do any cultural look before, so I took this as an opportunity to create a very Bengali look. So I went all out with the red and white outfit and the makeup with the bold lips and the dramatic eyes. Um, the look is actually very easy. Uh, the eyes are very simple and the dramatic part about it is the eyeliner and the lips. So even if you are looking for something simple to do and not so dramatic, you can still do this look. You could just not wear the lipstick, make, maybe make the lips a bit nude or whatever you want or if you don't wear like the earrings or the flowers or the teeth you can still wear it with like a dress or something so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial I hope you guys recreate the look if you want to and if you have any questions or concerns please comment down below I would love to get back to you I would love to get involved with all of you guys and if you are a Bangladeshi like me and watching this video if you have any questions or concerns or if you want to say something to me please go right ahead I would love to hear from you. So I hope to see you guys again in my next video and until then, bye! And Shubha Nava Varsha. I'm priming my face with e.l.f. Mineral Primer and then covering my dark spots underneath my eyes and all over my face with NYX Corrector Palette and I'm using the red shade to color correct everything. I usually do this process before a uh, heavy face makeup so that the entire face and the uh, foundation looks very smooth because of color correcting. Afterwards, I am using the yellow shade from the same palette to go over the red shade. This balances the uh, redness. And just on top of that, now I am going to be using Max Studio Fix Liquid Foundation in NC43. It's a very, very full coverage foundation. So once you use this, that's it. You're good to go for any photos or, you know, night out, you're fine. Um, I'm applying it with BH Cosmetics Brush Number 100. 13. Now I'm using Maybelline Fit Me in number 20 in my highlight zone and on the bridge of my nose and just blending the concealer with a flat foundation brush from Bobbi Brown. Okay. 
now I'm setting everything with MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Powder in NC43, same number as my liquid foundation. And I will be setting my highlight zone that I conceal with uh, Fit Me with Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and the lightest two colors, not the yellow tone, the uh, pink and the peach tone. And I'm using BH Cosmetics brush number 115, which is a tapered brush and perfect for um, the, your highlight. And now I'm contouring with BH Cosmetics brush number 114 with the darkest two colors from the same palette and going uh, right underneath my cheekbones um, all over my jawline and also on my nose with a concealer brush from BH Cosmetics number 121 drawing two straight lines down my nose and on the bridge of my nose putting a little bit of highlight for eyeshadow primer I am using um, the one from wet and wild and for eyeshadow, I will be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette. Um, soft peach on my base and I am applying it with the brush that was provided with it. It's a very fluffy eyeshadow brush, perfect for your base color. And now I am using the color Morocco on my crease line and for this one, I am using a BH Cosmetics brush. It's like a regular concealer brush, very easy to use for your crease and for the lid color I am using intense gauge which is a very peachy intense pink color and I'm applying it with a fluffy eyeshadow brush from uh, Maybelline and then for a little bit of shimmer with the same exact brush I am applying pink champagne from the same palette uh, it has a lot of fallout so just I am getting rid of it with the highlight and the um, setting powder from MAC for eyebrows, I am using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown, drawing them in. I'm doing a little bit dramatic just because it's a very traditional look and with traditional look and traditional eyes with the eyeliner, uh, very dramatic, outstanding brows usually look very nice. And I am highlighting a little bit right underneath my brows with the uh, contour palette. For eyeliner, I am using the Wet n Wild Gel Liner to draw my line first before I go into using the liquid. And now I am applying it over it with the liquid liner from Wet n Wild. For the waterline, I am using the gel liner from Wet n Wild with a flat uh, eyeliner brush from MAC Cosmetics, number 28, I believe. And for lashes, I am using the mascara from Maybelline True Falsies, which is amazing. Now I am back with my dress and I did my hair and I used some clip on flowers for my um, flower part. And I just put on a teep, which is a bindi. Um, for lips, I am using the new Kylie Jenner Liquid Matte Lipstick in Mary Jo K with the combination of the lip liner. This is actually a very good lipstick. Like I did not expect it to be as good as it is. Uh, it's a perfect red shade, very bold, and it goes on very smoothly with the combination of the lip liner and dries on and stays on for a very long time. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope you recreate the look and see you next time